Hi Virgo, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is your July reading. Um, this is for the month of July 2019. It is also including the new moon eclipse in Cancer that happens right at the start of July. So let's jump in here. We've got in this column over here, the Queen of Cups is where I want to start. And I actually want to start with the Queen of Coins as well. So I, I pick these six cards for the main energy of this time for you. And then I pick one extra bonus card for the magic that's happening behind the scenes for you. Um, what you can't see in the works. And we have the Queen of Coins. Um, but before I talk about that in that context, I just want you to check this out, Virgo, because... The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Coins, if this isn't your energy in a combo, I don't know what is. This is really powerful coming right out the gate for you. Um, this is you internally. Well, first of all, Queen of Coins is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So here you are about your business, about your work out in the world um, putting your passion into the 3D, you are, you are um, adept at understanding your work out in the world from your internal intuitive space, because Queen's internal energy, and bringing it out into the 3D, making it happen, bringing it into form that's tangible. And um, you've got these wolves here, which are symbolizing that earthly intuition. If any of you have read Women Who Run With The Wolves, highly recommend, highly recommend. Um, okay, so we got that, we've got that earth queen, and then we've got this water queen. Deeply intuitive being, something that is less talked about with Virgos is the, um, like magic psychic energy that can come with being a Virgo. Because if you think about the opposite axis for Virgo is Pisces. So here we have that duality present here for you showing up big time. So it's also interesting to me that the water queen here also has a companion, an animal companion in the whale whales over here the wolves and the whale you're being guided at this time trust your intuition trust the messages that you're receiving trust your emotional mes messages as well as the messages that you're seeing here in the 3d all right and um, so I just wanted to show you how you're showing up here in this reading also, what stuck out to me immediately with this card, here's a person that can hold space for, often hold space for the emotions of others. You know, sometimes Virgos have a hard time processing their own emotions, but can much more readily hold space for the emotional processes of others, all right? And they're holding space for all kinds of emotions that others might have the calmer waters, the wild waves, the rushing floods. They got space for all of it. Um, because Virgos are, are naturally a servant heart. You know, we tend to have that servant heart. I'm heavy Virgo over here, so. But what stuck out to me immediately is this vessel from spirit from above coming and dropping liquid gold to fill your cup to fill your internal heart space cup and what i saw when i saw this card was like oh my gosh you have been through it you have been through it and it and that's reflected elsewhere here on the spread but it's like your, it's not that your cup is empty because queen of coins, queen of cups, 
you can handle it. You can handle filling your internal space. Um, I think that you are like showing up as queen energy here feels like mastery energy. You are mastering uh, the tides of your own emotions and acknowledging your emotions and holding space for your own emotions. Like you're in your own shit right now in a beautiful way. You're about to get blessed. And I think this was a similar reading that you got in June as well. It's like, this is about to come in for you. And this feels love and emotional as well as money. So I think I said that in the last Virgo reading, love and money on the board again. But this reading is talking more emotionally that your, your spirit is about to come and drop that liquid gold that and the image I got was dropping that into your vessel from above into your crown chakra okay this is like the mini high priestess here dropping that into your vessel and I can just see you like turning to gold it's like that gold just filling your whole body and and letting you shine with this radiance um So I'm like, okay, yeah. It's interesting that the vessel dropping that liquid gold from above is a ring. And on the ring is a sunflower. I don't know if you can see that. It's like pretty specific. And then my camera's not the greatest. See that? The sun, illumination, truth coming out in the light of day, um, happiness, you know, like shining from your essence and happiness. I think some something real good is about to come in and drop some liquid gold into your life. And it has to do here, since it's, its partner card came out as the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is past energy. It is um, a card of reunion reuniting with something from the past some sort of energy from the past it usually means a person this can um can offer insight toward uh, about a connection that is incredibly sweet there's childlike innocence in the six of cups there's like you can see that here it's sort of easter it's very spring energy there's little chicks, baby chicks in the car. There's lots of flowers blooming. So this is a connection of some sort, whether it's connecting to a person from your past or connecting to energy from your past, energy that you have experienced in yourself in the past. This is like energy of childlike innocence and sweetness and just joy, just pure joy. And that, that innocence is not to be taken as surface. I think it's easy for us to dismiss children or things that are childlike in their innocence as being, oh, well, that's naive. That's just surface level. The depth, the riches and depths that are available to us in this human experience come from this energy of joy and lightness of being and innocence. So I think that's coming your way. And it seems like it's in a, a connection with another person. This may be someone from your past. Um, because we also have the lovers here. I swear this card has come out for almost every reading because the energy, this is the energy that's happening right now at the time of these eclipses here in July. July is this like jam-packed month of, it's a choice point. And the lovers is, is the choice card, is a choice card in the tarot. I think, I'm gonna come back to this. You have been through a lot like I said, and, and something is ending a really trying emotional cycle 
is finally coming to an end, and I mean an absolute end. You're not going through this again, my friends. Celebrate, because you're not going through this again. Um, we have the Nine of Wands here, which is feeling like hang in there energy. I really hate that reading of this card, but I gotta be honest, it feels like hang in there energy. It really does. And even the, um, all of these gates and fences and like walls that this person is behind there. I think this is you. And, and by the way, this person is like pretty beat up. They got a broken arm. Now this could be you. I also got that this could be the person you're dealing Like if you're dealing with a specific person, this could be a person you're dealing with. Um, or maybe both of you, but you're, you're feeling pretty beat up by whatever emotional situations have been taxing you and you're feeling the need to kind of like wall off and self-protect. And I see you doing that with this queen energy. You're going internal and that's good. Um, but I also say to you, be ready to receive the cup from divine when it comes towards you. Here we have the four of cups, someone sitting down here with these three cups, looking pretty unhappy, pretty dissatisfied. It's like, yeah, I got all this stuff and it's cool. I got these three cups, but there's something missing. I don't know why, but I'm not happy. Or maybe you know exactly why. I'm not happy. Divine is bringing this cup, this huge, cup that's like shining light down from heaven as it comes in and that's that liquid gold that's about to drop in your lap and it has to do with the six of cups energy so i think for you the six of cups what i felt was with the lovers you know the lovers is is um whenever we meet someone else in an intimate way romantic or not let me just hold that up so you can see this card a little better whenever we meet someone in an intimate way like that they are a mirror for us and different relationships will reflect different things to us. Some people reflect our own insecurities to us. Some people, you know, and most people reflect a combination of insecurity and beauty and love and all those things. Um, but some people reflect the, the shadowier aspects, the insecurity, the your own like inner darkness sustained over a period of time. And I think that's what you're used to or that's what you've been through and that's what's coming to an end. You can't partner with people like that anymore. You can't partner with people that constantly put you through the mirror of seeing yourself um, in, a, like in, the, in a shadow cast because that's not you. Yeah, we all have shadow aspects, but Virgo, that's you. You need to partner with someone who when you look in their eyes, you look in that mirror, what you see reflected back to you by the other person is a, your authenticity, who you actually are. Because you've got to be with someone that actually sees you. Sees you for the deeply intuitive, caring manifester that you are. The queen, dare I say, not gender specific. This queen energy is the master. It's mastery, internal mastery. You've got to partner with someone that sees your internal mastery and reflects it back to you. You've got to partner with someone that when you look into their eyes, you see your own joy. You see your own childlike exuberance and innocence and happiness. It's like, now I got the image of you both turning to liquid gold because it's not just you seeing that reflected in their adoration of you but they see that in you as well because you see, you know, you need an equal. 
you need someone with the same inner capacity as you. Okay, let's get some clarity. Oh, what do we want to clarify? What do we want to clarify? I want to clarify this Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Virgo in July 2019? Okay, we got cards flying. All right, we got Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> and we got the Four of Cups again. Four of Cups eight of pentacles so the four of cups reiterated you know whenever i get reiterating clarity it's like i already told you it's four of cups <laughs> and it's also it means like this energy showing up twice is really important for you the eight of coins this also is sun in virgo so you virgo 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 Oh, wow. Okay. Got it. Hold on. I'm getting a lot of things. Okay. I don't usually pick up on the imagery in these cards that much. I just use them as clarif quick clarifiers, but... Um, we have two people here and someone is pregnant and the eight of coins is all about um, like giving birth to something that you really want to um, create out in the world. It's like working on your own creation. It's, it's the card of the crafts person, you know, like the person that is an artisan there's something that you want to create. And I don't think you can do it in the stagnant energy of the Four of Cups. And because there's another person in this card, if you are to co-create with someone else, again, it needs to be somebody that, it's, it needs to be someone that embodies this energy not someone that is stuck here. You need someone that's like, sees you and says yes to you and is like, I'm that too, let's do this, let's do this, like whatever you wanna build, I'm here, we're gonna build it together, we're gonna create together. Interesting. Do we have any more clarity for the Four of Cups? No, they're telling me don't push it because we got Four of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay, um, Ten of Swords. Let's get some clarity on the Ten of Swords. What's ending for Virgo in July 2019? What is ending for Virgo? Okay, Queen of Swords. We have, um, yeah, this feels like Nine of Wands to me. Um, this is like someone with major internal boundaries. By the way, queen, 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 okay? This is someone who knows the truth and is so solid with the, with the truth of the situation or her own internal truth. And sometimes when you are set, when you know your truth, it, that requires boundaries. This is a card of boundaries. And it can be a card of protecting yourself. And I see that here with the Nine of Wands too. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll hang in, but I'm hanging in behind all of this protection because I keep getting beat up. So maybe what's coming to an end are these boundaries, the need to, to self-protect, or perhaps um, some sort of truth is coming out. It's like the truth is clear in the internal space and it needs to come out into the outside world. Um, I don't know. Why else is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo in July 2019? Why is the Ten of Swords here? What's ending? Well, that's good. 
Five of Swords is ending. Five of Swords is energy um, of conflict. Con the conflict of a situation is ending. Okay, yeah, got it. Wait, bottom of the deck? Okay, beautiful, King of Cups. So the conflict of a situation is ending and the Five of Swords energy is like, drop it. Drop the swords, don't fight with this. Just, just walk away from it. And um, I think that's happening for you in July. You're like, nope, I'm not gonna engage in this fight. I'm out of here. You walk away from that conflict and you know, the, the Queen of Swords, for some reason I was feeling like that internal sword is being taken out into the world. Like that truth is coming out in some way. And then we have the King of Cups who is like, express your emotions that basically that's what that's saying so it seems to me like some conflict is ending you're just not gonna do it anymore you're just not gonna participate in that kind of drama because you know your truth and um a cycle of perhaps not being able to express your emotions outwardly, like keeping it all inside, is coming to an end. It's time to express your emotions, I think. The Four of Cups can also be like holding on to your emotions, staying in this like stagnant energy, settling for a situation that doesn't actually satisfy you. Okay. Um, I think that also clarified the Nine of Wands. So why... Why is the lovers here for Virgo, July 2019? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Tower, okay, yeah, I said it was a choice point. And here we have the lightning striking the tower and um, whatever needs to crumble, crumbles. And we see that reflected in the 10 of swords. It's like whatever needs to go is gonna go. Maybe in the month of July. There's a choice to be made to um, blow the top off of the tower to get to the root, to get to the base of it. And also interesting root, six of cups, past energy, okay? Something needs to get blown up to get back to the root. The root, the core truth, there's some something about that. All right, why else is the lovers here for Virgo? And then we have the star. Healing, hope, faith. Okay, so in this tower, whatever tower moment this is, and don't be afraid of the tower, okay? The tower is good. The tower brings you closer to yourself, always. Even if it's a, a bit of a painful process. But I don't know. I'm really feeling like for you, the painful processes are done. I don't think you're going to have to go through like another painful process. I hope not because I'm a Virgo too and I don't want to. Um, but you know, we will if we have to, obviously, for the sake of, of our own growth. But I'm really feeling like the painful processes are done for you. You're walking away from that kind of conflict. Um, so whatever tower moment is coming is good. It's a good tower moment. It's bringing you healing. It's bringing you closer to a feeling of hope. Perhaps um, in a love situation, since we have lovers and, and the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. Okay, well, why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? Why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? In July 2019, why is the Six of Cups here? Okay, what do we get? We got the King of Wands. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, this is an incredibly passionate, powerful energy. So um, again, like I said, it's like, yes, the Six of Cups represents this sort of like childlike sweetness and innocence and joyful connection with um, maybe someone else or just like that type of, connecting to that type of energy, but it's not without its passionate depths. The, the King, this is like the... We've had some king energy show up here that's perhaps external. This could be the Six of Cups person that you are connecting to embodies this king of wands energy, which is like, and I think this is the type of person 
like talking about the type of person you need to partner with rather than partnering with people that keep you in this like ten of swords, four of cups crap. You know, who whoever you partner with and whoever you choose, you know, perhaps you're gonna have options, you know, the lovers, again, a choice, and we are at a cosmic choice point. So perhaps you're gonna have some options on the table for you. And the advice here is to choose the person that brings out that joy, um, that like real heart space, sweetness, joy, that like reunites, you know, maybe the reunion in the Six of Cups is actually a reuniting with yourself, with your deepest child self. Um, but also the, you know, the energy coming in is one of passion. And also the King of Wands is very decisive. The King of Wands possesses their power in a, in a way that is like complete. They are not afraid to blaze a new trail. They are not afraid to step out in a new direction and say, this is what I'm doing. This is my passion and I'm following it. And I'm gonna do it out in the world taking action on your passion. So Virgo, whatever choice you have to make here, you have to choose the thing that is joyful and that fills your spirit with joy and sweetness. And also you have to take action towards your passion, what you're truly passionate about here. Okay, is there anything else about the Six of Cups that we should know for Virgo? Ooh, Ace of Swords, love that. So this is, um, again, oh my God, it's the truth coming out. Because <laughs> we had the Queen of Swords and then the King of Cups and I felt like there was some sort of um, a cycle of like stagnation and keeping your emotions inside is ending. You are walking away from that energy and towards the truth. And the truth seems to be about Your inner truth is always going to lead you, reunite you, so to speak, with your joy. Your inner truth is always going to reunite you with your heart, with your soul. Again, whether that is an external person or whether that's just you, reuniting, you know, choosing you, choosing to reunite with yourself, with that aspect of yourself. Regardless, that getting aligned with that truth, speaking that truth out in the world, passionately going after your joy is going to drop liquid gold into your heart. And now I wanna know why the Queen of Coins is here for what spirit is doing behind the scenes for Virgo. What's the Queen of Coins? What's the Queen of Coins? We got a lot of love on the board. Maybe we got some money over here with the Queen of Coins. What's going on with Queen of Coins? Why is the Queen of Coins here for Virgo for what's happening behind the scenes? Okay, that card. Interesting, Four of Pentacles, more earth energy. This is um, structure. Structure, structure, structure. Okay, and the King of Pentacles, more earth energy. Okay, so we gotta like, major and i we keep getting kings kings king of cups king of wands king of um pentacles which are really complementing the energy of the queens on the board because that queen is like that internal space it looks to me like things are moving you know you've been in this internal space internal space and now things are starting to move in the external world towards your passion towards emotional expression towards um embodying your authenticity and your work out in the world. This is like the getting paid to be who you are card. So um, I think that's happening for you. I think you're about to get the four of pentacles. I'm from that, I'm feeling like you're about to get a structure in your work out in the world that allows you to be who you are and get paid for it. Can we learn a little bit more about that? I know my burgers want to know, because I want to know. Okay, Page of Swords. This could be about, um, there's so much sharing your truth. So this could be about 
this is like a student energy, somebody that's just graduated. So maybe whoever I'm connected with, connecting with out here, maybe you've just sort of graduated from um, learning a skill or you're finally just feeling ready to share what you know. You know, the Page of Swords is like ready. Like, I just learned all this stuff and I'm ready to share it with the world. So, so go ahead and do it, I'm seeing here with this Queen of Coins. I think don't be held back. The structures are going to be in place for you to do that. Don't be held back by any kind of fears that you're like um, still a student or like, oh, I'm just still young or like, I don't know. Um, I, have, I don't have enough experience. Don't let that stop you. Do not let that stop you because the, we got, I mean, come on. We got the queen of coins right here with the king of coins. This is like, you are your own power couple. <laughs> you know, like you got the internal coins, you got the external coins, you're ready to go. Um, so please do not let any sort of mental worries or insecurities stop you. It's forward movement time, Virgo. Okay. Um, great. And we have the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, which is another reflection of passionate pursuit. I think passionate pursuit in your work out in the world, passionate pursuit in love. Um, but again, passionate pursuit towards someone that reflects who you truly are back to you, not someone that reflects conflict and drama back to you or insecurity back to you because that's, that's how you build what you're trying to build. That's how you create what you're trying to create. Okay. Last but not least here, Virgo, we are going to get a major arcana card from the Botanical Tarot. For your guidance, what's the guidance energy for Virgo for July 2019? What's the guidance here for Virgo? And I gotta say, you know, as I'm shuffling here, it's, it's really funny because um, some of these same cards have been, sh you know, like I'll watch other readers on YouTube, you know, especially certain readers that I really resonate with. Um, and so I'm watching for myself because I'm like, I'm Virgo, what's going on with me? And some of these cards are coming out in other readers' um, spreads as well. So. It's just so interesting to see those parallels and synchronicities. I love it. I love that. So I do, um, I do recommend that you go to other readers and see those synchronicities for yourself. And also just like check out the other readers on YouTube that, that have different styles than me because they might be able to offer you um, wisdom, maybe even like in a similar theme, but they may say something different that like, jogs your being in this way or that gives you some insight about oh okay it's about that you know so definitely check out other readers okay spiel done let's um pull a major arcana guidance card here for virgo july 2019 what's the guidance for virgo in july 2019 okay we got the wheel I'm just looking at my key here because I don't know what all these flowers are. Star anise. Okay, I love that. The wheel. You know, um, whatever this situation is, the ending that may be coming your way, the choice that may be coming your way, um, love, money, all in divine timing. All in divine timing. Um, that can be hard for us Virgos because we really we really like to make things happen. It's like once we have an idea, it's like, well, why don't we just make it happen? No. Um, because that's not how things work and you can't always control things like that, you know? So um, m one of the my tarot mentors over the year has years has been Lindsay Mack of Wild Soul Healing. Check her out for sure. She always um, offers some medicine with this card as don't, you know, as the wheel is turning, don't try to stick your fingers in the spokes. Don't try to stop what's happening in any way because you're just going to get your fingers cut. 
and nobody wants that. Okay, take your fingers out of the spokes. Let it go. So, you know, we had a tower card over here. We have the 10 of swords, whatever's ending, whatever might be like kind of um, crumbling in order to get to a rebirth, in order to get to a, a, a return, a reunion, a rebuilding here. Um, trust that it's working for your highest joy, even if as the ending and the tower are happening, it, it doesn't feel good. Don't stick your fingers in the spokes. Let the wheel turn. Let the wheel turn and uh, see where you end up and trust. All right, my Virgo, that has been your reading for July 2019 at the time of the new moon eclipse in Cancer. If you like this video, click like so that it can get to the folks it needs to get to. Um, if you enjoy my readings, please subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected, especially as we keep eclipsing this month. And um, if you're enjoying this work, check me out on Patreon. I got a lot of free resources up there and that'll help you dive deeper if you need that at this time. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.